Hello friend, I am Samadhi back to with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. Sometimes clay behave as a flocculate structure, sometimes clay behave as a dispersed structure. Are you really interested to know how this flocculate structure convert with dispersed structure as well as why the consolidation is too much important in the soil mechanics as well as clay minerals. If you are gate aspirants as well as engineering service aspirant or SSCG aspirant, watch the video till the end, brush up your concept, enrich your knowledge. If you are new in my channel, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon for never miss an update because I am coming with this types of video almost every day. In my last video, I discussed the comparison between flocculate structure as well as dispersed structure. There is an i button. If you have not seen this video, there is an i button. Please check out. First, I talk about how does flocculated structure converts to dispersed structure so before discussing this conversion first i have to draw two diagram here flocculated soil structure and here dispersed soil structure first i draw the flocculated soil structure how it look like this so yeah this is the flocculated soil structure and here this is the dispersed soil structure so this flocculated structure just for small revision there is more void void ratio more permeability high shear strength high compressibility high okay in this first structure void ratio low permeability low shear strength low compressibility low in flocculate structure I talk about some flocculate ions that is sodium, calcium, magnesium and in this first structure I talk about trixotropy. What is the trixotropy? Trixotropy is strength after removal. You read the soil mechanics in this way. That is a more effective. So now talk about how this conversion happening. How this conversion happening. Okay. So now we talk so now let's see carefully suppose you apply the force in this way you apply the force this way in flocculate structure if force is applied in this way then this force is acting here this force is acting here few force acting here few force acting here agree or not what happened if force is acting this point this point as well as this point what happened so there will really be possible that this contact area this contact area will be shifted or you can say there will be occur slip that means in first before acting force the particle will look like this after applying the force this particle is look like why because slip occurs due to force and application of force is a continuous process application of force is continuous process gradually this structure converts to this this structure convert to this you can say another thing this is the force concept if you say uh, sir uh, can you elaborate as per stress concept yes so stress sigma equal to force internal resistance force per area okay i can say if area is less or decreasing stress will increasing you tell me in this contact area in this contact area area is very much less very much less then st stress is high stress so generally what happened in 
this point in this point high amount of stress is generated and then this slip is occurred and then flocculate structure convert to dispersed structure why this thing happen because every curd structure is yes, this thing are known as a curd structure because every curd structure need some stability because everyone need equilibrium so due to equilibrium every particle need stability and for stability this is the most stable position of a clay structure and after stability if any if any force is applied they can resist somehow that is the other matter and in this way they make the denser arrangement denser arrangement and this is how the flocculent structure convert to dispersed soil structure so in the comparison if you remember i told there flocculent structure is loose whereas dispersed soil structure is dense hope that is the clear first i draw flocculent structure then dispersed structure where void is high permeability high shear strength high compressivity high in dispersed structure this is stereotropy and void is less permeability less shear strength less compressivity less then what happen if force or stress whatever it is that is your choice then in the contact area there will be slip happening why slip happen happening because high amount stress is occurs high amount of stress occur then they need their equilibrium or they need some stability in stability they are arranged in this way that is the that is the what parallel orientation or you can say edge to edge connection and they are making some denser arrangement in this way flocculent structure convert to dispersed soil structure hope you understood now our second question why compressibility why compressibility play a significant role in soil mechanics because if you are going to the gate engineering service je state psc definitely you find one or two question or three to five question in comp compressibility chapter so better from day one you have to care this compressibility topic let's understand why compressibility play a significant role in soil mechanics or clay mineralogy or clay mineralogy first in short i tell you one thing in soil mechanics there is a two term one is compaction and second is consolidation every aspirant do some uh, uh, silly mistake that is they thought compaction is a water repulsion consolidation is a air repulsion air removal it is wrong compaction is a air removal process by entering water and consolidation is a water removal process by adding external load you learn about the shear strength you, you will learn about the what type of external load is applied so it is very beautiful chapter so let's start consolidation so before studying consolidation i want to draw something a diagram the diagram is in this diagram this is your absorb water this is your dispersed soil this is again absorb water and this is the double layer water this is your absorb water again this is dispersed and this is again absorb water if you remember in my last talk last lecture i talk about dispersed soil structure hold holds water where flocculate soil structure pass the water 
hope you remember so that is why in dispersed soil structure they can absorb water or they can hold the water so what happen as we are civil engineer we have to build the infra in the soil if we didn't check the soil properly and you constructed the infra due to load of infrastructure if soil is not proper then there will be some settlement if settlement is there there will be crack generated maybe a collapse happen so as a civil engineer we don't prefer this that is why before before making some construction we have to understand if there is a chance of settlement or not or if there is a chance of water present in soil that is why before this construction we have to check this soil properly for this check we check the uh, relative compaction we check the void ratio we check the permeability we check the compressive compaction compressivity dry density lots of thing but the main thing is compressivity whatever suppose you find this types of layer in your in your soil where you want to construct something if that thing is happen if suppose unknowingly you are making some construction here if construction do if you make construction here then you will this construction force is acting in this way if force is acting this way these absorb water bahar ho jayenge if absorb water is going outside then this structure settle we don't need this thing if more force is acting on this then again then after certain time this double layer water also gets out that is why before doing these types of construction we apply the consolidation we apply the consolidation what what happen in consolidation let's uh, clear this image in consolidation what happen we add external load in this soil okay. after applying external load after certain time this absorb water gets out this double layer gets out as well as this absorb water gets out finally we get if this is the your ground level we get your soil as a solid version and yeah less chance of water in this case if you want to build some construction there will be less chance of less chance of settlement less chance of crack less chance of collapse compared to previous state why i am talking this thing because in next few video i talk about clay mineralogy where you can understand in few clay materials there is a solid is very less very less void is much high much high much high suppose solid is 3% void is 97% few clay where solid is 40% void is 60% so in next video i talk about clay mineralogy where you can understand very much why consolidation plays a significant role clay mineralogy or whole soil mechanics so that's it from my side where i discuss about how does block layer structure convert to dispersed structure and secondly i talk about why compressivity is plays a significant role in soil mechanics and as well as clay mineralogy here is a a basic main diagram and in my next video i talk about clay mineralogy that's it from my side if there is any kind of doubt do comment in comment section if you think this video helped to you share the video and still you are watching still you are watching subscribe this channel press the bell icon for never miss an update because more knowledge more opportunity